ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chicago's O'Hare International Airport, where the local time is approximately 11.33. We will be taxiing for a few more minutes, so please remain seated with seatbelt staff, and then I'll carry on luggage properly stowed until the captain has left the aircraft. Going down, a lot of soldiers ain't make it through this year, so let's celebrate the week. Chicago, let's talk about your first, your first couple weeks being there, the type of place you got. Uh, I got a nice little apartment. Or a condo, whatever you want to call it, man, on the eighth floor of my building. Uh, it's a great view. Just being in Chicago, man, it's, it's electrifying. New crib. What a great night last night. <laughs> to the people that was in my group text, they know exactly what I was talking about. And for the guy filming, he knows what I'm talking about. Sometimes you have those type of nights. Like I can't eat my mints in my pocket. I'm not sure your best man will be. You might, you never know, you might meet a beautiful young lady. You might have to split some game too. Oh, shit. What about to go do? Just eat in the city, man. Go eat a steakhouse somewhere downtown in the city. Enjoy ourselves. You know. Like they walk and drove on me. Knew I was gang affiliated. Oh, they, they do license plate same day. Really? Yeah, hey, I was scared for you yesterday though. Let that fresh car smell. This is the dopest part though. Don't fall for that. She said you left me kids. And he's just like you. They wanna rap and make soul beats just like you. But they just not you. And I just got through. Talk about what you trying to do. Just not new. Now everybody got the game figured out all wrong. I guess you never know what you got till it's gone. I guess it's why I'm here and I can't come back home. And guess when I heard that? When I was back home. In the interview, I'm representing you, making you proud. Shoot for the stars. So we're going to get you now. What's up, love? It's time to go eat, TJ. It's time to go eat. What you want to eat? This good old Chicago food. You know what I'm saying? A lot of good food in the shy. Man, look at all this. Big building. Look at these buildings up there. Look at all the buildings. Look at all the buildings up here, dog. We got to go inside so you can see them. For your, y'all got crab legs here. Y'all got crab legs here. Man, great dinner, man. Nice little, you know, shindig. Real cool. So you're making what? Oh, little breakfast, a little breakfast, a little breakfast. Yeah, then I put a fat rabbit on a crap medic. I am so high, addict. I am so high like a addict. I'm different. Beat the eggs up, call it Amber Rose. Then I write letter cause they miss me. I never thought it could happen. This hooping stuff. I was too used to packy gats and stuff. Now honey's with me coast like butter plate toast. From the Mississippi down to the East Coast. Condos and queens in those weeks. Sold out seats to watch Nate Rob who? Hey! You know, I work hard every day. Uh, go in the gym in the morning, get a good lift in, get a good stretch. You know, we, we go hard at practice. So, you know, it's a, it's a team full of great guys. You know, you got D Rose in there rehabbing his knee. He's there every day trying to get better and trying to get right. You know, so, you know, there's no telling when he's going to come back, but he's going to be ready, I know. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to be a, 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 I, I think we're going to, we're going to, we're going to mesh well. You know, our chemistry is going to be, is going to be there early and that, that plays a great role in, in the upcoming season. You know, this is my, this is my eighth year in the league. And uh, I'm just looking to do, you know, bigger and better things, accomplish uh, more and more of my goals, and uh, just try to do the impossible, and you know, bring something new to the, to the game uh, that, I, that I haven't right yet. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited. Uh, like a damn snitch. 
Hey, this is a fit though. Does it feel like the first day of school? Uh, I mean, I'm really excited. Can't you tell me you smile? Yeah. I don't know my, I don't know my pants too tight. I'm gonna do the Elvis Presley in the minute. Let's see if I can. Uh, that's how you can tell your pants too tight. You can't do the Elvis. Y'all need to rip. I hope they don't rip on camera. If my pants rip on camera too, don't put this on stage. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Woo. Yo. No. This way or the highway, wanna disc cake on a local mixtapes. There they go again, line to consumers. Get their hair cut at the little shop. Get your own cussy, Jay. A little sloppy with your cockiness, oh. ain't ya? A little arrogant with all your comparisons. Cause as far as the shy, I got the most black sister beginning to rap. But nah, y'all ain't mentioning that. That's just talk about my dough. How I left Chicago. How I'm the only one eating. Shut your pie hole. And wanna figure out why I'm getting a high dough. Why? Cause you need fire. And I'm a pyro. And you prepare it. You copy what I do or say. You know, I mean, for me, it's something special. As you can see, this statue behind me, man, speaks for itself. Uh, you know, but again, uh, a lot of history. To, uh, you know, to go with this, you know, being with the Chicago Bulls, uh, it's like again, I said it's an honor. I'm blessed. God is good to be able to, you know, play for one of my favorite teams ever in history. My favorite player has been Michael Jordan forever, and I wear his shoes. I'm a big fan, and as a little boy, man, everybody wanted to be like Mike, including myself. So, uh, you know, to be able to come first game of the season, you know, home opener, uh, you know, I just, I just hope to play. You know, great basketball, you know, for the city of Chicago, you know, for my team, for the fans, and for, you know, MJ himself, man. So uh, I owe it to everybody just to go out there and give it my all, no matter if I make shots or not, but just to play with my heart and passion. Just go out there and have fun, man, and be me. You know, don't hold nothing back. Can't wait. Get in the gym, lace up the sneakers, and, you know, get it in, man. This is, this is, this is what I do. All I know how to do is be, is be Nate Robinson. The rest of the you know, rest of my career, that's who I'm gonna be. Uh, no matter if you like it, if you don't, either love me or leave me alone. <laughs>
Regis Neal Funk. Did you see that block? The little man came out of nowhere. Watch this. Brooks never saw him coming. In your own words, what a Nate Robinson brings to a club. Uh, I mean, for me, I just, I'm just blessed. Uh, you know, so I gotta thank God first and foremost, uh, you know, for the opportunity. But for me, it's something that, I, that I've been doing is just bringing energy. I just, I just let my game do the talking. I go out there, you know, playing my heart and soul, and my teammates and my coaches and the fans believe in me, and I just, uh, I just play to my best ability. Nate Robinson, love it. Still amped after the game, making things happen before and now after for us at NBA TV. Congratulations on a big win. Oh, man, thank you for having me. Enjoy watching. Mr. Horlat himself will stay in the You need a Horlat? No, stay in the building. Horlat! Not a Horlat. Could say I always was the truth, but that be lying a little. You can't spell believe without a lie in the middle. I always say it first, trying to ditto, but I got bigger to do than to try and be little. Mind of a general, heart of a soldier. That just mean I call the shots, but ain't afraid to take the shots. Just gave it all they got, still couldn't take my spot. Don't get your shorty got and have to live out Taken's plot. I ain't give a f now, I would give whatever. You only live once, but legacies live forever. I came from the dirt, made the cut in blue. So when you put me in that right light, what I do? Just being in Chicago, man, it's, it's electrifying. Man, so much history and so much, uh, so much love the city shows. But you know, they love their their Bulls. They're great fans. Sitting at the uh, the head of the table right now, state of eight. You know what I'm saying? Big Pancho. Mm -hmm. First, like, first of all, state of eight. Hold that. This is C. First of all, tell him that you you wanted to go to McDonald's because it was going to take we forever almost, to sit. He wanted to go to McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> it took about an hour to sit. Now we here at El Frisco. New restaurant, banging. About to get down to eat after a long game, a tough game. We clench our you know our body. Then we'll see what happens from there. Hold that. Hold that. Yeah, John B, that's how we do.